Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify and eliminate unnecessary content in your data visualization presentations. In previous videos, we've covered the need to define a clear purpose for your story and then choose an effective visualization that will reinforce the message that you want to get across. But when it comes to the visual communication, you also need to pay attention to how much effort it takes the audience to understand and consume your visualizations. If your audience is either too overwhelmed or bored, it will reduce your ability to communicate effectively and you may not get your intended message across. To identify whether elements in our visualization are relevant or not, we need to consider visual perception and how it works. To achieve this, we can use visual cues that leverage visual contrast. This will activate the visual mind of the audience and it doesn't even require any conscious effort. Visual contrast is obtained by showing difference in size, shape, color, width, orientation, length, and position. The objective is to preload important facts into the user's mind by using these visual principles. Visual contrast allows you to improve the viewer's experience by getting rid of all the visual junk that may clutter your visualizations. Now let's move from theory to a practical example. Now, I'm going to explain my thought process to identify and remove clutter from a specific visualization. The purpose of this exercise is to improve the visualization and adapt it to the story we want to tell. On the left side, you can see the original visualization, and on the right side, the visualization after I've reworked it and applied some best practices. Now, this is subjective. Everyone has different ideas of what they want their final report to look like. What's important to understand is that this finished visualization leverages best practices in visual design. Our example here is based on sports data and it shows Formula One victories by constructor. The objective of my visualization is to show the constructor with the most championship victories in comparison to my favorite Formula One team. As you can see, we have a full screen chart with a lot of colors as well as complementary information. We have bars, text, flags, arrows, and a whole lot more. There is a lot going on here. Luckily enough, there's a title to tell us what this is all about. Now, to make this visualization more compelling, there's a couple of things we can eliminate and others that we can improve upon. Let's take a look at those now. So here's our reworked version. Now, you can tell a lot of different stories with this data, but I chose to tell this one. In the end, what's really important is that you make sure your audience gets the point that you're trying to make. Now you may have noticed that at the bottom of the slide, I've added the source of the data used for this visualization. I recommend that you always add the origin of your data as this gives credibility to your story and provides a reference to the audience. Identifying and eliminating clutter has brought us a long way in terms of making it easier for the audience to understand our visualization. So let's quickly look back at where we came from and what we were able to achieve with some point and click and drag and drop actions. Remember that a great visual design will accelerate the understanding and consumption of your visualizations and presentations. When deciding on how many data points you want to show, how many colors you want to use, or how many illustrations to put in, the answer is always less. Everything on the page should have a purpose. If you want to learn more and go deeper into visual storytelling, take a look at these references. Thanks for watching.